So before we leave, I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. Does anybody know what kind of spider that is? Because like, it looks weird. Today is going to be a little different because we have reservations for the sci-fi diner. If you don't know what that is, it's like a restaurant where you go in a car and you like watch a movie. It's pretty cool. We had to book our reservations like four to five months in advance, right? So we're just pulling into... Okay, redo. <laughs> so we're just pulling into the parking lot at the All Star Movies Hotel where we're gonna stay tonight. We got a nice deal on a room. We're gonna stay there. So we we booked it like 60 days before today, so we can get fast passes that are good, right? Because you know how Disney works. But so this is a thing they do at like the All Star Resorts. I have no idea why they do it, but they ask for your ID and then they don't do anything, they just like look at it, like what are they gonna do, like if something happened they're just gonna like, hey, I remember you, why? So we're taking the bus over here now from the all-star movies all the way to Hollywood Studios. So we got these things on Amazon for our magic bands, they're called bit belts and what they do is they keep it locked in because my mom was having a problem with hers falling off. It came with a bag of 12 and you can put them on your magic band so it doesn't fall off. The bus is here. They're testing the gondolas. So it is called the Disney Skyliner. They are like silent. I don't hear anything. So the time on the screen is when these things are opening. Once they come down the wire, they turn around over here. Then they go back up. They go pretty fast too. So they have scrim up behind this building here. Right now we're heading over to Rock and Roller Coaster for our first fast pass. What are you doing here? You were supposed to be at a show. What do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Backstage. I was too late. We just got off Toy Story Mania and I'm, they have this new Forky merch. I wish they had one that said, in quotes, I'm trash. I bet every single high school girl would buy that. Everything here is like big, so it's like we're toys because that's the whole theme of the land. That's why everything is like big. I got 80,000. What did you get, Sammy? 128,800. Yeah, my mom got like 60,000. Here's a giant checkers game. Woody and Bo Peep are over there. Buzz is over there. So right now we're heading over to the sci-fi dining theater where we booked a reservation five months ago. While we're waiting for our table here, they gave us free popcorn. right here. Just look at this menu. This place is really cool. It's like, there's like stars and stuff, and there's tons of cars, and then we have waiter service and a big screen. With incredible desires for love and vengeance. So this is one of the cars they have, that's how they look. 
They have two in each row and they have about three rows each. And they also have these right here where it's like sideways seating. Right there. So they have these things as uh, speakers. My mom said they used to have them in the 50s back when she was a kid. So I got the classic American burger. This is the candy bar dessert they have. This place is like really cool. If you have a trip and you're planning to come here, definitely make sure to book a reservation because they usually book like six months in advance. Star Tours is only a 10 minute wait, so we're gonna run that. Now, shut down the system. They this job. Okay, so we were just chilling in this like empty pizzeria for like 30 minutes. It was kind of weird. There's like literally no one in there. Right now, we're gonna go ride Tower of Terror. And after that, I think we're gonna go home. This is where we ate earlier. It was really good. We were just walking and we heard this explosion and it was from the fireworks from the Star Wars show. So that was that was scary when you weren't expecting it. It's a 115 minute wait for regular, but luckily we booked our fast pass in 60 days in advance. Tower of Terror time. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. We invite you with you dare to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. I was so scared because it started to drop before the doors even opened, and I remembered the doors opening last night before it dropped, so I wasn't expecting it. And then at one point, it started to shake. I don't ever remember that happening before, so I guess you're right. It's different. It's, it's randomly generated, yeah. So we're staying at the All Star Movie Hotel and we're staying in the Toy Story section. It looks like it's about to start raining. There's fireworks. Yeah, it's like really cold. It's like it's like in the 80s. We're lucky we're getting on the bus now because like it's starting to water. Bus. Sammy, how do you say Jeff? So now that we're staying at the All-Star Movies, we have stayed at all three Disney's All-Star Resorts. We've stayed at the All-Star Music, the All-Star Sports, and now we're staying at the All-Star Movies. What I've noticed is that they're all very similar. They have the same multiple buildings with different themes. We've also stayed at the Pop Century, which is also very similar, but it's not technically an All-Star Resort. They all have these like things going around the stairs. Not always, this is Toy Story, so that's why it has this, but they have like cones in the sports one and cool stuff like that. So we're out here looking through the rooms and someone set this up in the room, that's so cool. All the Toy Story characters. We're just walking to our room and there are these giant statues of Woody and Buzz. Like, look at his eyes and, oh wait, look at his Buzz. That thing's like 150 feet tall. They always, at the, like the all-star resorts, they always have like oversized things. So like there's Andy's room right there. And there's the RC. As we checked in on the app, I can use my magic band to unlock our room. We didn't even go to the front desk. We just use this and we, if it works. Well, yeah. oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Here's our room. You guys a little look. It's nice. Wow, this is a lot different. Only one. Oh, there's a hold on bed right there. Yeah, this is like the pop century. This looks a lot more modern and new than the. This is way better than the all-star uh, sports. It's nice TV, nice bed. Looks nice. Let's take a look at the bathroom. This is the bathroom, pretty nice. Like, wow, the bathroom is nice. This is way better. I'm telling you guys, way better. It's our all-star sports and music. This is the best all-star resort. So when I take down this bed, it has this cool thing right here. It's a really nice room. This is the best Disney budget hotel we've stayed at. Okay, so me and Simon just got back from the arcade, and now we're gonna go to the pool for a bit. It's thundering, so we might not be able to stay for long, though. So here at the all-star movies resort, they play movies <laughs> at night at the real spot. Right now they're playing Ralph Breaks the Internet. But yeah, if you're looking for a budget hotel, I definitely recommend the All-Star Movie Resort. It's amazing so far. So we're here at the pool. Okay. So they have two pools. They have this one, the Fantasia Pool, and then they have one that is 
shaped like a hockey rink. The hockey one is based off the Mighty Ducks movies. Okay, guys. Again. Okay, guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed. See you in the next one, and peace.